Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for a new day. Thank you for your love that abounds forever, your favor, your loving kindness. We give you all the glory in the name of Jesus. Lord, today we've come for a new day of fellowship. We're asking Holy Spirit that you come dwell with us. You teach us, you guide us, you lead us. Let the words that be spoken not be in the enticing words of man's wisdom, but let it come demonstrating your spirit and your power. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. What's up? I'm fine. See you good. Thank you. <laughs> My green vintage dress. <laughs> happy Sunday, guys. Yes, happy Sunday and welcome to Umucho Jambo Ministries YouTube channel where we talk about God and faith and our hope is to build our Christian faith as we approach our day of seeing the Lord. If you are new there, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Like and don't forget to share. Before you share, watch. And also watch. <laughs> and also don't forget to drop your comments, contributions, mm. questions, or topics you like us to talk about mm. on the comments in the comment section, or mm. you can WhatsApp us on our numbers in, on the screen. Mm -hmm. And also, if you have testimony you want to share with people, also feel free to yes. reach out to us. Yeah, the platform is available for you as long as it's a testimony that comes from the Lord and it's going to bless the children of God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, also for your youth camps and your small gatherings and your outreach um, venues, you can reach out to us for more information on that as we can give you accommodation for hosting such programs mm, and also if you want to join us feel free the door is open for you yes to be yeah. part of mutual jambo ministry mm, mm. and if the lord is laying on your heart to stand with us financially as a ministry you would see our details at the end of this video or if you would like to Reach out to us first before you take such step. You can use the detail, the contact details on your screen right now. And also, I still pray for monthly supporters. Mm -hmm. If you're one of them, feel free also to reach out to us. I like to say that no matter how big it is, no matter how small it is, one plus one. Two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. We also like to send our greetings to your friends and family members of Omocho Jungle Ministries. Yeah. <laughs> Sending out our greetings and saying we love you and we would like to say hello to Husseina mm -hmm. in Kaduna. Husseina, God bless you and God bless the work you're doing there. Yeah, I could do greet you. We love you so much and God bless you. Mm -hmm. Mm, yes. Nairobi. Yes. Uh -huh. I was going to say in numbers. <laughs> <laughs> and God bless you, Emmanuel, in Uganda. You've been a constant source of support, encouragement, prayers. You constantly share our videos and like them and watch them. And we are mm. really, really grateful. God bless you. Greetings to Nicole Deo. Uh -huh. And the general also is always there posting. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And greetings to Pastor Eric, Pastor Ezekiel, and all the men of God that constantly stand with us in prayers and encouragement. God bless you. Yeah, also Pastor Noel. Mm -hmm. It says Bill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we greet you all. Oh. And finally, we would like to send our greetings to you, our viewers, who are there right now watching and constantly coming back. God bless you. Yeah, keep watching, keep sharing. Yes. And if it's blessed you, let it bless another. Mm, yeah, don't be stingy like you heard the guy say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, once you open our link, you just click there. <laughs> <laughs> it's not difficult. Yeah, like, <laughs> I know sort of person, you know, status, mm -hmm. WhatsApp status, so, so it's yeah. not difficult. So, of course, it. Mm. let's bless one another exactly mm. let's be a blessing to one another and expand the kingdom of our dear god mm -hmm. yeah mm. so 
another day another beautiful thing that the lord wants to expose mm. to us so that we can learn and we can grow mm. and we can be a blessing check out mm. our video on children there was a video we shot yesterday saying mm. parents mm. the child's spirit is not mm. the child there's just so much in mm. there for a parent to learn or any caregiver mm. so take time and listen to that video mm. and let it bless you as well <sighs> yeah may i help her there's two things came in my mind okay after when we called that video to which says that why do I need to seek prophet when I have Jesus? Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is very true. We don't need mm -hmm. to seek prophet when we mm -hmm. really have Jesus. Yeah. Because even the prophet you are seeking today is Jesus going to speak to him. him. <laughs> so why not you just access the Jesus for yourself? Uh -huh. So, but also now I really want people to understand. Maybe if you are seeking a true prophet or fake mm -hmm. prophet mm. what is consequences from fake prophet or good prophet mm. yeah help us that the area to understand okay i want to first start by saying this no believer is created to be an island and when you when you grow in the tendency for a believer to feel like yes i have arrived now i am you know in a secure spot mm. you know i'm mature i don't take milk anymore the tendency for that to set in and make you suddenly begin to feel subtly it happens you begin to feel mm. like you don't need anybody there is a danger there mm. and when you begin to see that around you cry out to the lord for help because you mm. need to be humble all the time and one thing about humility is that you would need another mm. as you journey on this journey of faith. You will mm. definitely, that's why the Bible says, do not forsake the assembling together of one another. He didn't mm. deposit all things in just one person. He spread it abroad. abroad. Mm. So you have to have that at the back of your mind. And there are times also when believers, we get into a state where we need someone to help us or to not help us per se, but stand with us to confirm a thing. Mm. Maybe we are not so certain or maybe we just want to be mm. definitely sure. sure. Mm. You understand? You, you could reach out. It could be a friend. You understand? Yeah. It, could be, it could be a leader. It could be whoever, you know, you feel mm. highlighted in your spirit. God highlights in your spirit, you know, to, and you're like, check this with me. I'm, I'm beginning to perceive this but mm. i i don't want to just jump yet i want to be sure god is truly in this mm. there's always that time because not all the time god will speak to you in just ways that you will know alone sometimes it's going to speak and it's going to be mysteries and it's it's the beauty it's the beauty of fellowship mm. it's the beauty of having brothers and sisters mm. in the faith you know and you build one another up but where there is a danger is when people begin to run from place to pray, place, not because they want God, but because they want a solution to something. Mm. So I hear this is the reigning prophet in town. I run there to get a word from the Lord. I hear, ah, you've not visited, visited that prayer house. I jump there. Mm. I remember somebody called it, someone said to me, it's spiritual prostitution. Mm. jumping from one place to the other from one place to the other as if you can't find God mm. so so that's where there is a problem because when people do that most times they are not seeking to have relationships with God mm. they are seeking to have results in whatever it is they are finding in whatever it is they are finding and if it happens to be that you're just an infant when i mean infant i mean you're just new in the faith or just newly believed and mm. you don't really know where to go and you're seeking brethren there is that this way you would want to go to every gathering because you are looking for where your own mm. are there's that that's that's understandable but at a point you'll find out that god would secure your feet and you realize you don't need that anymore so that's different 
on what we are talking about. We are talking about when people jump from place to place because they are seeking the prophet for an answer <laughs> to something. There was a comment I, I not a comment, a, a video I saw yesterday and I laughed because I, I when I saw it, I was like, hmm. I just kept it somewhere, you understand, in the archives. And I said, I said, well, God, you know why you have me see this again? Because we had just spoken about that same thing and then this young man was also saying it and we don't even know each other. Mm. So I sent it to my husband to look at, you know, because it's something we had spoken about. And he said something, he was talking about the Bible saying, if um, any, any tongue that rises against you in judgment, you will condemn, not shall be condemned mm. or will be condemned, meaning you will. So he was saying there that stop jumping from place to place. Mm. You have been given an authority by God to handle things that come to you. To stop things at your gate. He said, blessed is the man that have children. He said, we speak to the enemy at the gate. So if God is our father and we are his children, we are to speak to the enemy at the gate. Mm. So he was saying that. And then he now said something. He said, you have succeeded in giving false prophets a business to do. And that's the reason why you keep going with money to different prayer houses looking for who will fast and pray for you mm. <laughs> and they make money off you and tell you whatever they want to tell you mm. whether it's true if not why would you need to go to another if the one they told you today worked mm. just sit down and think about it you know i'm looking for a prophet to give me a solution to a problem and i've gone to prophet a and i don't see anything that's when i will look for prophet b Mm -hmm. But if Prophet A's own really works, I won't need Prophet B because A has sorted the issue for me. Mm -hmm. So when you need B, C, D, E, and F, it's because none of them is working. But you've not taken time to think. I paid Prophet A 50K, mm -hmm. Prophet B 50K, Prophet C 50K, Prophet uh, D 50K. And I keep paying that 50K. <laughs> if you put it together, you paid almost a million. Mm -hmm. To diverse prophets, mm. but you did not realize it, and your finances are mm. going down. Mm. The pro problem is not getting solved. I want to bring up a story to get to where I'm going. Jesus said concerning the woman with the, or rather, not Jesus, it was written concerning the woman with the issue of blood mm. that she had seen diverse physicians and her problem was not getting better. And she has spent what so much money. Mm. So if her problem is not getting better and she's spending money and she's not healthy enough to go and get more money, what will happen to her? Poverty. Maybe we die. Yeah. So meaning, it is your constant going to these prophets seeking for solution that is enriching them. And that's the reason why they are opening a lot. Mm. Because they know they have customers. It's business. They to wake up in the morning and say, Lord, bless my business. And go out because they know you will come. They know you will come. Hmm. They know you will come. Yeah. And when you're going to come, you're not going to come empty-handed. You must come with something. Don't come with something. Prophets cannot profess. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's no spirit of man there. Mm -hmm. Prophets cannot prophesy. So if you need prophet to speak, you have to drop. You drop something, prophets will speak. So you keep going, 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 and you keep opening, opening, opening. And the gullible people that keep going to them, I don't mean to be to be rude or, or insult you, no. But it's really you're really being gullible. Think about it. You're not you you're allowing people to use you anyhow. You're not being mm. intelligent, you're not being you know, you're not acting intelligent, you're not acting with wisdom because you are allowing people to exploit you. And use you to build mansions for themselves. Still, you're not getting an answer. And you're not asking yourself, uh, how, uh, how long will I keep seeking prophet like this? Won't it stop? And the demon keep wiring you. And those of them that do jazz, we keep sending the demon to wire you. So you keep coming back. Hmm. But this is the solution to such nonsense. 
Seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness and all other things will be added to you. If you have the Holy Spirit, what you need to do is seek God. I keep saying this. God said to Hezekiah, you did not seek me. God was, God killed Saul. Saul, the annoying Saul that he told I've torn the kingdom from you. You know when God tore the kingdom from you, he didn't say he was going to kill him all. He only said I've torn the kingdom. But God eventually killed, the Bible said God killed Saul. Why did God kill Saul? Because he consulted the sorcerer and did not seek him. Hmm. Check it. Every time kings of Israel go to consult a sorcerer over a matter and not God, God kills them. Or he sent something against them. Because ah, how can you be in my own nation sitting on a throne that I gave and you're consulting mediums? You cannot seek me. You're going to seek someone that will help you seek God knows what. Another spirit, maybe. Yeah. God killed Saul because Saul will not seek him. He seek another God. He went to seek a medium. God, God, God dealt with Hezekiah. Why? Hezekiah did not seek him. He said, and this happened to you. I thought you would come to me. You didn't come. I mm. sent another one. You didn't come. I even allowed sickness to deal with you, hoping, hoping that you would turn and come to me. Then I will now deal with what is the matter that, that is making me send these things to you, you know, and get you back on track. But even that you refused, you went and sought a sorcerer. So, because you have done this, Mm. so when you keep jumping from house to house to house to house you're not doing yourself any good the only thing that will come out of that like he was asking the consequences is that they're going to milk you dry and when you are done you will lose faith in god that is what they are sent for they carry the spirit of balaam and they will not mm. stop until <clears throat> they get the same judgment as ba balaam but if they are going to get the same judgment as Balaam, why do you want to be the scapegoat they are going to use to ride into that judgment? Why must it be your resources that they will finish? Because that's just the end of it. For them, they are making money. Mm -hmm. For you, you're not only going to lose your money, you're going to lose your faith in God. Mm -hmm. So if you lose your faith in God and you lose your faith in the only hope that could have saved you, what is your own portion? There's no other salvation for you. You end up going to hell because of another person's sin. Think about it. So there's so much more than just your money at stake. There's your faith which the enemy wants to steal. Remember, the devil only comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. So if he has stolen from you, he's going to kill. After he has finished killing, he's going to destroy you finally. Meaning he'll steal your money, he'll kill your faith, and destroy you at the end. Destroy your hope of eternity. Because if your faith is gone, what is left? That is, if your belief in God is dead, what is left? Mm. Now, when you go to seek a prophet that is really of God, what will happen to you is that one, Whatever word that comes from that person to you, God will fulfill it. Mm. So they won't even ask you for money. A true prophet is not after your purse. A true prophet wants to bring the word of the Lord. Mm. Not so that you can come after him again. Because there's a way you come after a true prophet. Come after him. We ask you, can't you seek God for yourself? A true mm. prophet, I'm being very honest with you. We ask you, come. I understand that you started coming to seek me in the beginning because of your mm. weak faith. But by now, I expect you to have grown. When do you intend to mature? Because a true prophet will always point you back to God. At a point, he'll be tired of you coming to seek him. Because he wants you to go to God. So that others too can come to you for help. So if God connects you to a true prophet, one of the things is he will not seek your money. He will not seek your body. He will not seek your home. Mm. He will not seek your children. He will mm. not seek the, your material things that you have. If you send him a blessing, you will realize that it is because 
of the staring of God in you. God has fulfilled the word in his, mm. in his mouth. You, out of the gratitude of your heart, want to say thank you. Not because he's coercing you to give him something. He doesn't need your finances. Yeah. All he wants to do is bring you the counsel of God. And point you back to that God. And want you to also grow. Because when you grow, he will rejoice. Mm. That, ah, Lord, he, he brought one fruit to you. Mm. So that's his own joy. But in all these things, what God wants is that you will seek God for yourself. The Bible said, and your children shall be taught of the Lord. What does that mean? It means God himself will teach you. God himself. I remember someone very, very dear to me once came to me and said I should take her somewhere. It was a popular prophet in Nigeria. Very popular. <laughs> I said, take me here because he was in need of help for her son. I said, Mama, I can't take you here. He said, let me take you to, to church. Let's go. Let believers pray with you. At least, okay, if you want to see, my, you can see my pastor. He will stand with you and pray with you. And if there is something God has to say regarding this matter, he will tell you. You don't need to go here. He refused. But the most I can do for you is take you to Koton. And you can go and find the place. Mm. I will not go with you to that place. I'm sorry. I can only show, take you to where I know God is. Let's go there. Let's pray together. Yes, hear God. She refused. Because she believed if she go here, this man will probably give her maybe one of those holy waters or something, you know, and do the <clears throat> miracle or talk about her case and then they'll bring her son and he'll be healed. For me, I knew. I tested that place and I knew this place, God is not there. So from my, I was even telling her my experience. I said, ah, I've tested this place and I know God is not there. Don't go there. Mm. But her desperation was stronger than anything that I could tell her at that point. So I loved her. And I went to church. That year, the man died. Not even too long after that, the man died. The prophet. Not the prophet, mm. the son. So I now asked, so what about the prophet? He mm. didn't stop the boy from dying. Mm. Sometimes, when God wants to take, you need to be ready to let go. And hold on to the God we have. Don't think somebody else would stop this thing from happening to you. Stop it. <sighs> It's better God takes the person in peace than for you to go and start connecting yourself to evil spirits that you don't know in the name mm. of seeking solution. I'm so glad that at least she didn't have to go there 300 times and lose her small change that she had in her bag. <laughs> at the end of the day, God did what he wanted to do. Who could question him? No one. Nobody. So running from prophet to prophet will not change God's mind. The only thing they'll do is make business out of you. They become rich and then you see them and be going, Papa, Mama. Is your money you? Is your money you that has made them rich you? Or how can you challenge that it's your money? It's business. You are the customer. They are the ones selling. Mm. You come to buy their product, they give it to you, you pay for the goods. Let's not be gullible. Let's be wise. Let what we seek be God Himself. See, hey, I want the solution. I want to forget that thing. Some of the time you get the solution. Mm. 
some of the time that we get the solution, we need to learn to be at peace with what God is doing. If you ask God, if God says, this person will leave, you don't even need to do much. That person will leave because the word of the Lord has come out. Problem, I want to force it. You want to force it the way you like. I see the way you like can do anything. God will delay it. Let me do it first. And finally, the way you like cannot even sort anything out. Okay, God forbid, but let me say... <laughs> let me take the example I gave. Let me say the boy didn't die. And he continued in his sickness and the old woman now died. Hmm... <laughs> well, well, will you come back to go and seek the prophet because God? Never. You can't. You really can't. So let's not make the problems that have affect us make us feel like we are orphans. And what do I mean by that? I mean, make us feel like we have no help. Mm. We have no covering. We have mm. no gear to run to. So we mm. keep running around like a headless chicken. No, it's true. You know a chicken when you chop off the head. If you if you leave the body, it will first run, 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 run before I think it will now realize, oh my head is off and you mm. fall down and die. So stop running around like a headless chicken. Christ has said, I am with you from now till the end of the age. Let that be enough for you. That you are a believer does not mean that situation will not happen to you. That's a lie. Things will affect you. It's not all of it you will pray away. Some you will pray and put a stop to. Others, God will want you to go through it. So you know to know you need to know which is which. But in all things, remember that God loves you. His love for you is consistent. It doesn't matter what you are experiencing. It doesn't change the fact that God loves you. Mm. So you might be going through the hardest situation. It doesn't change that God loves you. God still loves you in the midst of it. And it doesn't mean that God has forsaken you. God is, if God has forsaken you, the first thing that you would, first of all, know is that you, you will feel an emptiness. So mm. you're not even feeling an emptiness. All you are feeling is pain from the problem and you're shouting God you are forsaking me, you're forsaking me if God forsakes you, you don't need anybody to tell you you will know something is wrong you will know and it's not the, the same kind of I'm going through problem mm -mm 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 -mm. you rather go through problem and have God there mm. than have everything fine and God has left you so you just need to know the. we need to know the balance in this thing some situations you will be able to pray with Others, God will want you to go through. <sighs> and it doesn't mean that God is not with you. It doesn't mean that God doesn't love you. The, how you will know God is with you in the midst of a storm? Is his, he will consistently give you access to his word. You will get his word in the midst of it. To encourage you, to strengthen mm. you, to keep you going. To make you know that you are not on your own. You will have that consistently coming. That's what I have to say. <laughs> hmm. Who knows if these things? I don't know if I say that sometimes it's uh, annoying. Because even if you see those people, wow, well, fake prophets, the way they behave. Mm. If you. Uh, your spiritual eyes are open, you will see. And be honest. For me, it's not easy to come to me and tell me that these people. It says that I went to mountain to pray for people, but you have your your team to shoot you. <laughs> Recording the prayer session. Yeah, and there you guys hey, drop your comment there. And they tell me your problems. It's for Albert so that more people will go and have more cash to draw. <laughs> it's for Albert Seasmith. Now I'm here on the mountain fire. I see fire is coming down. Drop your problems. Let me you drop your problems. 
why can't they drop their testimonies? Why does it have to be any problems that you have to drop? Ah, if the problem of the whole world land on your head, you will run away for safety. <laughs> for the days on the mouth then it drop. Question is, why are you paying me to fast for you? If it's a fast, I don't even need to be eating or something like that. So I don't need money. Mm. So you're paying me so I can go and eat well and I will tell you I'm fasting. You come to see the person fasting looking fresh. <laughs> There's another one I saw. He was there. <laughs> he was there. TV station. I don't know if he, the guy is the owner of TV station, but I don't know. He's there. And he was says that drop, even if you have one shilling, hmm. drop it there. It's not small. Drop it, drop it. I'm here praying for you. God is going to bless you. Your, bomb is, your, your business is not going to, to fall down. Your marriage, your this, your that. Why doesn't he pray for them? to repent from their sin. Why don't he even pray for them that they will have salvation? Those ones that are refusing the Lordship of Jesus Christ, that they are hadn't had to be melted. Why is it always their business that they always pray for? Protection. Protection and children. And you know, all those things. Why that one? Why is he not crying out for those lost souls in his environment? Why is he not praying for that? I'm on the mountain praying. Mm -hmm. Drop the name of your siblings. Let us let us get them for Jesus. Mm -hmm. Why is he not praying that one? I think we'll get from there. Uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God have mercy. You desire to mal so and so. Drop their name mm -hmm. there. <laughs> Let him pray for lost souls. Hey, hey, that's what we are talking about. Let him tell me I'm on the mountain for 40 days because I'm crying out for one person that has refused to accept Jesus. And I'm not going to come down from this mountain until the Lord tells me that it is way. Then I'll say, wow, that's a man with a body. I need to be like that. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Is that family going to give him a, No. Is that family going to give him a house or car? So just No, but you at least you have an eternal reward. Mm -hmm. eh, it doesn't mean so that one. So you have to use your prayer. <laughs> so you see, it is your money that you need to buy suit. <laughs> to be Keep Kurani today. Or is it empty your bank account? And you be like the woman that gave your sofa and to today I've never been able to buy one again. <laughs> They're still gonna ask you to give you their house, your house, give them your house. Let them use it to, to, to become a worship center for the Lord. And then you, you guys living on this street. <laughs> Don't be wise. <laughs> Make them rich. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Yeah, to be honest, a true prophet will come to you. Yeah. And they will see you in the way. They're speaking to you. Mm. The way he's talking to you, you will see that this man is from God. Exactly. You will never say about his, this, this guy here, our friend. You see, there's one more thing that he will carry that the other guys can never get, no matter what they do. The atmosphere of the Holy Spirit. Mm. You can't buy that in the market. He has to give you himself. So all your dancing up and down can never produce the atmosphere of the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit will never sit on what is not God. Maybe you have been seeking God on this matter. The true one will come. God will say this and this and this to you. Mm. No doubt, go. Maybe you did something wrong. Mm. Guy will come, rebuke you. Mm. You don't know the person. Forget those you see, your neighbor, they went to. Ch -ch 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 -ch. <sighs> so, and so they did this, and then you come in the church and say, Oh, ah, God says that you, do, you did this and that. No. Now, one other thing is, you know, the rebuke of the of, of, of the rebuke of God is not the kind that I've been seeing 
online these days where they carry a human being and say they are boiling him in a church and i'm like is everybody mad you see men perpetuate the evil from their heart you don't even know whether that is supposed to be a sacrifice mm. you carry fuel and burn someone up and say so you are rebuking them take cane and be flogging adults god will punish all of you on a very serious note god will punish all of you you do the work of your father satan and you call god god will judge you because this is wickedness even the rebuke of the father, you, you will see love in it. What kind of useless love is that that you have to kill somebody in the name of rebuke? Go and kill yourself. No, seriously, Paul said it. I wish these people that disturb you will go and castrate themselves. And let's all have peace of mind. If you want to cook anybody, jump in the pot and boil yourself up. <laughs> The man, the one who was the pastor, was cutting onions in the pot. I'm telling you, I was so pissed. I, I, I'm ah. see the crowd that sat there. I saw all of them are mad. Oh, <laughs> the other guy was giving them bath. This <laughs> oh, remember the one who was yes, the women with their with their towels. <laughs> I said, Oh God, this is madness. Even if the man has gone mad, you yourself have you also mm. gone mad? <laughs> What kind of uh, God is yeah, that? Yeah. What kind of God will do that? God will punish all of them with their evil hearts and their lustful desires. Please be wise. Don't let anybody make a fool of you. If they want to be fools, they should be fools for themselves and their father the devil. But you should not be a part of it. In the name of seeking miracle. What bloody miracle is that? What kind of stupid miracle is that? That you see the day, you see the sun, you see the rain. That is miracle already. Mm. So if the God who will give both the sinner and the, and the just man, rain, sun, and moon, and everything he gives them, and air to breathe, if he cannot meet your need, then forget about it. He probably doesn't want to give it to you. Please, God has not called us to put ourselves in the bondage of Satan again. How can you say you're following a man and there's no atmosphere of the Holy Spirit and you're still going there? Do you even know God? Do you know the Holy Spirit? Do you even know what God carries? <clears throat> because if you know him, you will not find yourself in such stupid places. Where their gods is their, their God is their belly. Both they and that which they seek are going to fall into the lake of fire and you are joining them. What kind of madness is this? You don't even know what spirit is behind them. You go and tie yourself, your family, your children, your generations are born to some stupid covenant that you have no clue about because you are looking for, 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 for solution. Please be wise. Anybody who tell you, give me money and I'll do this for you, tell the person, forget it. Let the person go and walk. You go and farm because there's nothing else to do. The best answer I'll tell him that Holy Spirit will pray for me. Exactly. I've been in situations mm. where I didn't even feel like I had strength to pray. I, I told God, I said, Lord, pray for me. You pray for me right now because I can't even pray for myself. Mm. Which other prayer is better than the one that the Father will offer for you? Or the Son will offer for you? Or the Holy Spirit will intercede for you? The Bible says that the Holy Spirit consistently makes intercessions for us with groanings that cannot be uttered. You are not there when he's interceding on your behalf before the Father. You are not there. And some idiot will make a mess of you and your creation. A human being like you. Why would you give another human being such right and authority over you? For what? A human being like you. Most of them, because they know they cannot have political power, mm -hmm. they go and seek other ways to lord it over another. A human being like you that was born from a woman, he didn't drop from the sky. Come on. This is the one that my people will say now, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
you should uh, guide your heart. To be honest, at the end you will regret because yeah. now the holy water you get, you have to sit somewhere and ask yourself where this holy water come from. What even makes it holy? Mm -hmm. Jesus said something. No, God asked. So I can't remember who some of the is it priests or, or prophets the question. They asked the prophet, he said, ask him, the priest, ask him. He said, if you carry, if you're wearing your, you know that the regalia they wear, mm. the effort and all of that, and you're carrying a bowl of food, that does that garment make your food holy? The man said no. He said, okay. He said, but if you are unclean. And you touch anything in the in the in the temple, does that make it unclean? He said yes. I said, Oh Abula. The matter has ended. Mm. <laughs> Meaning your robe is not able to make anything holy. Mm. So where did they get the holy water from and what made it holy? Some of them will lie to you that it's angels that came. Ah, Jesus Christ, I can't forget that movie Luther. And I asked myself, a whole leader of a nation went and bought the dead skull of God knows who. Because they told him that's the head of John the Baptist. And so to you, by now, the head of John the Baptist has not rotten. Mm -hmm. That you will carry a skull, a live oh God my goodness, a life skull and put in your room when it is not jazz. Mm. <laughs> God am <I'm> messy. <sighs> <laughs> Please, I will say my people perish because they lack knowledge. You <laughs> know you're not getting get knowledge. <laughs> get wisdom, get understanding. For God's sake, get understanding and save yourself yeah. from all this nonsense. <laughs> Some stupid person just say, "Ah, what business can I do today to get my out of poverty?" Say, "Let's go and become false prophets." After using holy water. You will be dry and empty. You can't dream, can't see vision, can't do this and that. You become afraid because you keep feeling like spirits are following you left and right. <laughs> it's so, so messy. Oh God. Sometimes, you know, you feel like you can just break someone's head and push these things in so that they can get it. Can't but you can't. And you keep you seeing can't. people fall victim for all this nonsense. Day and night. Mm, you can't because someone will listen to you and then they say, yeah. you go. What is... Uh, Abraham says that even if you go, they will see no trace in you. Mm. I have pushed my prophets there, did you hear them? It's a matter of choice. You can choose to become your next experiment, or you can choose to save yourself. Mm. Joshua said, You don't choose you, this baby will be follow. But as for me and my house, Mm. We will serve the Lord. Mm. Meaning, I lay before you the same matter, matter, uh, matter of choice. For me, I've chosen where I'm going mm. to be. You choose your own for you. You can't force me. <clears throat> if you want to listen, you will listen. If you want to hear, I will hear. If you want to understand, you understand. Uh, that's true. If you need knowledge, you will get it. Uh, if you want to change also, we change. Exactly. <laughs> so, you decide it was the best for you? Exactly. 
think it's enough. Pray for us. Pray. Oh Lord, if our hearts feel like this, we wonder how your own heart feels over this matter. But please, we're just asking in your mercy. And you will open the ears of men that they will hear. Yes, God. We escape this rubbish that is all over the place. We just pray. We just pray that you will help those who are finding themselves in this stupid chains, Lord. That they will be free. That they will find freedom in you, Holy Spirit. Let your word go deep into their hearts. Let open the eyes of the blind, cause them to see and get knowledge and set themselves, you know, free like mm. a bed as escape from the snare. This is what we ask. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Mm.